take a look at the all new Files app that came out with iOS 11. Right, and it replaced the iCloud Drive app. Right. And now includes not only iCloud Drive, but any other cloud that you have. Right, like Google Drive or Dropbox. And also local files you might have in your device, which gives you um, access to all your files no matter where they are on the go. Right, so let's take a look. All right, so here we are on our iPad, and okay. we're going to be taking a look at the Files app. Now, the Files app is also available on your phones, mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to look a little bit different. Um, you're going to see one screen at a time. Okay. And you're not going to have this, you know, two screen scenario that we have here. But you, on an iPad Pro or a regular iPad, you'll see it this way. It's the same. Yep. So keep that in mind that you'll be going between screens. Um, another thing to note is that most things work for all of the clouds, but some things only work with the iCloud Drive files. Oh, fishy, uh, Yeah, right? a <laughs> little bit, um, of course, it's, their, it's their files app, and yeah. so things work better there. So keep that in mind as you're trying things, and uh, okay. if something doesn't work out, that may be why. So the first thing we're going to look at is the whole interface of the app. And on the left side on the iPad, we have the Browse column. Mm -hmm. On the right side, we have the Files window. We're going to be looking at the Browse column. So if you're on a phone, navigate back to just that Browse uh, window, and okay. we're going to take a look at it. The first thing you'll notice is that we have, it's very clear, just like everything else in iOS 11, a big, yep. bright Browse. You know you're in that area. And then we have three sections, Locations, Favorites, and Tags. Okay. And... To expand or collapse those, you just tap on the name. Oh, great. So I'm going to tap on the names of all three so it expands out. Okay. You'll also notice that we have a little um, arrowhead on the right or carrot top, and we can go ahead and also turn those, and that's how you can see whether it's expanded or not. Right. Um, under locations, you're going to see all of the cloud apps that you have installed on your iOS device. So if you don't see anything here but iCloud Drive, you maybe don't have those apps downloaded. Okay. So you need to download Dropbox, download OneDrive, download Google Drive app, go into them and log in. Okay. And then you'll be able to see them here in Access. So if I know files. I have OneDrive but I don't see it, it means I need to download the app and sign in and then it will That's show up. exactly right. Perfect. Yep. Um, to look at the files in any of these, you just tap on them. So if I tap on Dropbox, this is my Dropbox files on the right. If I tap on iCloud Drive, this is my iCloud Drive app. Uh, Creative Cloud, I haven't set up yet, so this is just showing yep. me you've got the app downloaded, but you have not gone in and signed in yet, so that would be something you'd have to do before you see it. This is so fascinating. I have to pause that you have all access to all your clouds in one spot. This it, is really a great app. It's very empowering, let yeah, me tell you. Yeah. I love it. I love having everything in a cloud. Because who doesn't have, you know, like a million different clouds? <laughs> right. I mean, I use them all, but we do, of course, because yeah, we, we want do. to. We <laughs> teach them. Right. Um, so that's really nice. So you could just move between your clouds. Um, OneDrive looks a little bit different. It comes up in a window. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Microsoft, well, that's, that's but that's okay. Um, in the Favorites section, um, you can drag and drop any file into the Favorites section that you want. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to first navigate to iCloud Drive under Locations. And I'm going to go ahead down here, and let's say I want to bring a folder under Favorites. I'm going to grab uh, the Daisy folder. Tap, and, Tap hold. and hold and just drag it over here. Easy as that. Now, Drop what if we place. were on the phone? We can't drag and hold. Well, in the phone, you're going to have to use iOS 11's new fancy gesturing, or you're going to have to use another way of doing it. Okay. And that would be to bring up the submenu for this folder. So if you tap and hold on a folder or a file um, and then release your finger, tap, hold, and release, you're gonna, it's going to bring up the submenu for that file or folder, and you're going to see that all over iOS 11 um, in different places. And, of course, the options or the items on the submenu are going to vary depending on if it's a file or a folder or what app you're in. But you'll see here we have the option to favorite this. So I tap on favorite, and because we're on an iPad, we can see the browse panel um, to the left and you can see that that folder has popped into the first position um, under the favorite section. Now if you're on an iPhone you're going to have to navigate back to the browse panel um, with the back button and then you'll be able to see the favorite there. Now another um, or an, a, a way to remove this from the favorites if you don't want it there um, one way to do it is to tap and swipe a little bit to the left 
and you're going to see the remove button come up and just tap on that and it'll take it away from the favorite section. Okay, um, so the other thing that you can do really easy if you want to reorder things, you just pick it up and drag it and move it around. So you can pick it up and drag it around so that you can order them any way you want. You can also do that up under locations. So if I pick up iCloud Drive, drag it to the top because I want it to be the first in the list, I can do it that way. So it seems like uh, the iPad and iOS 11 is becoming more like the Mac. It really is. Yeah. And once we get into more of the files window, you're going to see that it's very much like a finder window, right. what we're working with here. And, you know, that's their direction is yeah. making them, them seamless. So it's exciting. The tag section we're going to be looking at a little bit later, but okay. these are all different tags, and the tags will sync with your Mac okay. if you're using the iCloud Drive files. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be careful of that. Another way that you can manipulate this browse area besides dragging things around is you can tap on Edit in the upper right of the window. Okay. And it's going to come up with the usual uh, manipulation for a right. window, which is the red switch will take something away. Okay, bring up the remove, which I can tap on. You can get on the three bar icon and move things around that way too. Okay. And, and then, turning on and off, if I say, well, I don't, I don't care about OneDrive, I'm just going to turn it okay. off. Now it won't show up. And I say done, and you can see so that there's it's So there's like normal, many different ways to do things. That's right. Of course. Yes. You can't just have <laughs> one way of doing something, right? Right, yeah. So now I'm going to go into one of my favorite folders, whoops, Sync Sisters, and I'm going to show the file screen on the right. So now we're going to look at the right side um, of the screen, and you'll see that at the top we have a search bar. So obviously you can come in and you can just type something in to search for it. Okay. Okay. You can sort things different ways. Um, you can sort them by, well, first of all, over on the right, you're going to see it, the three-line icon. I guess you would call that. If you tap on it, you can see that you can see it in list mode or, or tap on mode. it again, yep. grid mode. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go into list mode. You can sort by name, by date, by size, or by tags. Very Mac-ish. Very Mac-ish. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I can also create a folder. So I can use the plus and I can come in and I can create a folder, work files, done. And my folder will, at this point, come up at the bottom because I typed in a W. So there it is at the bottom. Perfect. Yeah, so it's really nice and easy to work with. Um, we have, um, at the very bottom of the screen, we have Browse and Recents. Okay. Okay. Right now we're in the Browse view. Mm -hmm. All right. If I tap on Recents, it's going to change. It's going to show me my recent documents at the top, which is very nice, so that yep. I can go through and, and look at that. And then it's going to show the shared documents, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes. Right. Documents that someone shared with you or you've shared with someone else. Okay. And then it's going to show a, a section for each one of your tabs or your tags. tags. Yeah. Really nice and, and clean. So I'm going to go yeah. back to the browse by tapping on browse at the bottom. You can tell which one you're in because it's going to be blue. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we'll take a look at... Um, doing some organizing, okay, mm -hmm. where uh, we've showed how to create folders and to move files around. It's just as simple as picking up a file and moving it. You just pick it up and move it to somewhere else, and there it goes. That's great. So it's really easy to move things around. Yep. Um, let's see. And we can and use the, you, if you can use... Uh, the drag and drop, or you could do the select, right? Right. You can you can do the select at the top, like we talked about, where you would go into the select mode, and then you tap on the file that you want to move, and you can go down at the bottom, and you can either delete, move, duplicate, or I share, sure. which we're going to get into in Perfect. just a second. Okay? Um, you also can use the... Um, iOS 11 uh, file handling features yeah. uh, where you could select more than one file at a time and move them. And we have a whole video right. on the iPad new features. Yep, called which, the iOS 11 iPad new features. Right, and, and take a look at that. <laughs> and if we'll you link wanna, it in the description. Right, then you can learn how to grab like three files and move them into an email or do right. things like that. It's all very it's quite fancy. Very minority report. It's two-handed iPadding. Yeah, it's don't, fun. Don't try it on your phone. <laughs> Even though you can do it, it can get really confusing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let's look at how to put things, how to work offline. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Let's look at first the markup features, what yes. you can do. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on this form here. Mm -hmm. 
Let me get back out. Oh, no. Tap on it, and it brought it up. It's a PDF, so it brought it up okay. into um, basically kind of a little preview area, right. kind of like the preview on the Mac. And you'll notice up at the top on the right, I can either share it. I've got the mm -hmm. share button, or I can tap on the pen tip. And Bring now, up your markup editor. That's right. Now which we're we in have markup. a great video, iOS 11 markup. Right. We'll link in the description. Right. It's really nice. You can quickly go in and mark something up or sign something and then share it with somebody or put it back up under the cloud. So you really have a lot of um, right. functionality. Now, to work offline on in the Files app, let's right. say you're going to be on a plane or you're going to be somewhere where you don't have internet access and you want to be able to work on some files, You've got a location called on my iPad. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now, if you don't see it, it means you don't already have, you haven't already put a file on your iPad. Okay. So, so if you, it's not there on the left, it's because you have exactly. it. Exactly. So we're going to pretend that it's not there, and I'm going to show you how to get a file into there. So really, you can't drag it in there if you can't see it, right? Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, in future versions, it'll just always show up, but we oh, noticed right. it isn't showing up right now. There are a few things they need to change. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to. Tap on select in the files window. Yeah. I'm going to select a file and I'm going to say move it. Down there. And now it's going to come up, yeah, down on the bottom, and it's going to come up into a window where it's going to ask me where I want it to go. And now I'll see on my iPad. Now notice that on my iPad has four folders already GarageBand, mm -hmm. Keynote, Numbers, and Pages. Yeah. Okay. It creates those. It's a little bit goofy. Like it shouldn't create those. You have to put files in one Shocking, of these. Shocking, right? Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, I think this will this will go away, and it'll be, you'll just be able to work. So it. I can't create a different folder. Not here, but you can go in. I'm going to copy it to Pages. Uh -huh. Okay. Now we're going to go over in the Browse column, and we're going to tap on on my iPad. We're going to see the Pages. I'm going to tap on that, and now here's what's in that folder. Mm -hmm. The, the document I had from before and the one we just put in there, notice we can do a plus now. So now we can say, you know, whatever you wanted to call this folder, real estate files. Okay, done. Now I can drag these by tapping on them and just drag them into that folder. Okay. Kind of goofy. They all have to yeah. stay in the pages folder, right. but, you know, it's yeah. a workaround for so now. So the root folders are just those four folders for now. Right. Hopefully they'll change. Right. But it's great because now I can go offline and I can work on those files yeah. and uh, not worry That's about That's awesome. It. Yeah. So I bet you can share documents too. You can, oh, well, this is especially new with iCloud Drive. Now, you with uh, the other most other cloud based systems, you can collaborate on a document, but iCloud Drive, you couldn't. You could only do it within their apps, like Pages and Numbers right. and Keynote and yeah. GarageBand. You could collaborate there, but nowhere else. So right. now we can collaborate on any file, which is really a nice In feature. iCloud Drive. Yeah, because that was so frustrating that you yes. couldn't do it before. So what we can what we do is we're going to go ahead. I want to show one other feature I don't think we've actually showed yet, and okay. we'll use it here. So if I want to share this file, I'm going to tap and long press on it, and up comes the submenu. Okay. Okay. You so see this everywhere. We right? see it everywhere now, and it's a great feature. Yeah. Um, Just tap and hold on things and see what, what options you have exactly. anywhere. Exactly. Right. So it's called kind of a submenu of options. And you can see here, again, you can copy, duplicate. This is how you rename a file. Yep. Move it. Perfect. Oops, oops, whoops. Didn't want to do go that. Go into it. <laughs> go into it. What we want to do is go to share. Okay? It's similar to control clicking on the Mac. That's true. Episode. That's right. Menu. That's right. So here we are, and you can see um, we have our usual sharing things. We have mm -hmm. AirDrop. We have our external sharing. If you want to send it, to phys yep. physically send this to somebody. Right. But if you want to collaborate, down in the bottom row, you see copy, print, save to Dropbox, I can add people. Perfect. And here it's going to come up and it's going to say, okay, invite people to collaborate with you. Everyone will see the latest changes. So this is nice. You can decide how you want to send it to somebody. And we'll look at that in a second. And then you have share options. So if we go in here, you can, um, who has access? Only people you invite or anyone with the link. If it's okay. a public thing sure. and you just want to put it out there for everyone to look at, you can mm -hmm. use that. And it defaults to having the person being able to make changes, but you could say, nope, they can only view right. it. Right. Okay. So set that up. And then <clears throat> you decide, excuse me, I didn't mean to do that. Decide how you want them to get it. So I'll go into messages and I'm just going to send it to you. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. I've done it three times now to you. So mm -hmm. here it comes really again. Good. Oh, this is the seller one. Okay. okay. So here it comes. So it's going to go off to you and then you'll be able to tap on it. And, and it'll action. show up in your files mm -hmm. app in the shared section at the bottom. And then when I edit it, your file will be edited too. That's right. So we'll be able to stay up to date yes. on, on those so things. So a little update of the iCloud Drive. That's right. Which now, is nice. if we go back to share really quick, I just want you to see if I, again, tap and hold to get the sub menu, go to share. Notice that the bottom, now it doesn't say add people, it says show people. Ah. Because I've added somebody. Good. And it goes and it shows that you've been invited. Mm -hmm. Now, if you say, oh, I never got it, I can tap on you and I, oh, I guess I can't resend it. I could remove your access yep. if I don't want yep. you in there anymore. Right. Add more people. Change the sharing options. Right. So it's a really nice. It's um, a nice feature. Nice feature. Or stop sharing the file altogether. Right. Okay. Okay. So now this has great tag features that, that show. Right. And right. Do you want to? Yeah. And I've never really been much of a tag user right. um, on the Mac. Mac's had tags for a long time. Mm -hmm. But I started thinking about it and I thought, all right, well, where would it be useful? And I think it would be useful, especially in this situation, if you want to pull things together to give to somebody, but you don't want to put them in a separate folder. You've got your folder structure. So I, I saw Or you might have different things on different clouds. That's right. You have things on different clouds. Because it works that way too. Right. right. So um, one situation is I'm a realtor, so there are certain things I might have to email to a closer. Okay. But I don't want to take them out of the folder structures that I have, but I know she needs a couple things from this folder and a few things from this folder. So I go ahead and I tag all those things. And how do you tag something? Uh, well, to tag something, we'll go back into our, our little file here. You can do it this way uh -huh. and go to tags. Long tap and bat up the yep. submenu. And, and here are the tags. Perfect. So it comes with some pre-set up tags, but you can go in and you can add a new tag. So I did add one that was add to closer, email to closer. Okay. I, I'll just do another one called um, Leica Agenda. This is another way that I thought you know, if there are things that I wanted to show to people during a meeting, I want to make sure that I add these to the agenda. So Perfect. I have that. That's great. Um, and you could go ahead and you could delete. Oh, no, you can't do that in here. Yeah. No, and that's not how you do it. Okay. okay. So we've got our, our um, tag up there, and we've tagged our file. Now, notice the file in the in the menu or the list over here it has mm -hmm. two colors by it now. Now you've double tagged okay. it. <laughs> I've double tagged <laughs> it. Well, I can triple tag it. So I can tag it by tapping and holding and going in and picking a tag. Uh -huh. Okay. Now it's got three. That's great. <laughs> or I can tap and drag it over the tag. Oh. So I can say, oh, I want to email this to the closer. And then I can go in here and I can find another file. I need to email. Oops. Tap and hold. Yeah. Email this to the closer. Oh, gosh. So you can just go around and find your files wherever they may and be. And different clouds. Different you clouds. Yep. yep. And you go in and look. Tap and on the tag, and there they all are. There they all are. That is so handy. It's very, very handy. And, and tags will sync with your Mac if you're using the iCloud Drive right. files. So again, right. certain things only work within the Apple ecosystem. I just think this is... The, the, the coolest app that you can access all your drives and clouds and things like that on your iPad or your phone. And there's one more thing I want to show though yeah. before we wrap it up. And that is when we go to edit, this is how we can get rid of these. Like I don't want just blue and red yeah. and you know, I want them to be, oops. And it'll tell you oh. if you've already got some tags. So I'm going to cancel that one. Yeah. But that's how you can um, or delete move them around. some of those yes. or move them around. Perfect. Yep. That's great. But yeah. Yeah. So I think it's uh, just a fantastic app, and it uh, makes working on the go so much easier. It really does. Well, thanks for watching our video today. We so love making these videos and bringing you this free content, but we do need your support. Right. So how can you support us? First of all, don't skip the commercials. That's how any creator makes money on YouTube. Um, like our video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And another great way is to go to our website using the link on the screen and um, shop through our Amazon link. Same secure Amazon shopping that you love at no extra cost, but it really helps support us to bring you these great videos. Right. So thanks for learning with us and thanks for supporting us.